Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm trying a new thing, another new thing with the videos, because over the past um, little while, uh, since getting the camera, it's been taking uh, any video I do, including like, like I just uploaded a five minute video called like uh, asking for requests or suggestions or whatever, and it ended up uh, taking like an hour to upload to YouTube. Um, uh, and then it's way, way, way longer for like an actual reaction video. So I'm rescaling the output. Hopefully that'll take the strain off the internet as it uploads. We'll see. Um, and hopefully it won't uh, significantly mess up the quality. I guess it really doesn't matter since we're doing it's more what I'm doing here is more audio based anyway. All right. None of that's important. Today we're going to be reacting to Peter, Paul and Mary, the great Men Mandala. Is that? Is that how you pronounce that? Great Mandala. I think so. Mandela. See, here it says the Great Mandala, spelled M-A-N-D-A-L-A. -A -A. But on the uh, YouTube video, it says M-A-N-D-E-L-L-A. -A. So, yeah. Um, in the description, it says uh, this was written by Peter Yarrow. The song has been among the most controversial of all their songs. It was written during the height of the Vietnam War. So... This one's going to have some important historical context. I'm excited to get into this. Um, thank you very much for joining me. And thank you to, I think, Steve. Thank you to Steve for requesting this, because I'm pretty sure that he sent, I think he sent a letter, um, which is going to be in one of the unboxing videos I'm going to be uploading this week. Uh, and then he also left a comment on my most recent video which actually got a lot of traction so thank you very much for the suggestion um because i don't think anyone's ever suggested this before maybe they have i just don't remember it um so yeah let's get into it three two one if you're new to the channel here we react to music and uh yeah that's that's all that's all i that's all i need to say let's get into it So I told him that he'd better shut his mouth and do his job like a man. And he answered, listen, father, I will never kill another. He thinks he's better than his brother that died. What the hell does he think he's doing? Oh boy. To his father who brought him up right. Take your place, son, the great Mandela. As it moves through your brief moment of time Win or lose now You must choose now And if you lose, you're only losing your life Only Harmonies are so great. The jailer, not to bother with his meal of bread and water today. He is fasting till the killing's over. He's a martyr. He's a prophet, but he's a coward. He's just playing a game. He can't do it. He can't change it. It's been going on for 10,000 years. Wow. Take your place on. The great Mandela As it moves through your brief moment of time Win or lose now You must choose now And if you lose, you're only losing your life 
tell the people they are safe now. Hunger stopped him. He lies still in his cell. Death has gagged his accusations. We are free now. We can kill. Got chills, holy cow. Mandela, as it moves through your brief moment of time, win or lose now, you must choose now. And if you lose, you've only wasted your life. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. So that that felt like it was about more than just... Um, it was written during the height of the Vietnam War. All right. Uh, that... Yeah, that is still relevant and probably will be forever, you know? Like, it's weird when you look at uh, history as a whole and kind of start to recognize patterns and wonder if they'll ever actually like change at all, you know, because like um, I, I disagree with uh, my my parents on some things when it comes to like politics or certain things. And uh, they probably think I'm nuts. And I probably, you know, I think that some of their thoughts are nuts as well or whatever. Um, but then. And, you know, I'm. As, as a human, my own personal beliefs, I'm very, like, I feel convictions, right? Um, and it seems like one one thing is the right thing. But I wonder if by the time I'm, I have kids, or at least by the time the next generation or whatever comes along, um, will their sense of what is right and wrong or their morality or their direction that they take the the world have shifted a lot and will they have their own convictions and be utterly convinced as well that they are correct you know anyway all right but that's uh that's one overarching theme of this song which is more about um it seemed like it was more about war than necessarily politics and going to war and the morality of of war and fighting and killing um all right, so here's one comment from someone. This was four years ago, so this person would be 19 now. They write, I'm only 15. This song seems to have as much resonance for me in today's society as it had for the freedom fighters and great people of the 60s and times gone by. This is one of my favorites. It's inspiring, and it's an honor to say I love this and feel privileged to have shared it with the youth around me. Thank you, Peter, Paul, and Mary. May love be with you all. That's an amazing comment from a channel called Vinyl Blog. Huh, cool. I remember the first time I heard this song and how moving it was for me. It was during the Vietnam War and I was called to go for my physical for the army. This song was very powerful in capturing the struggle that almost tore this country apart. It remains a great piece of music. Big ups to those who resisted the war. And folks like Peter, Paul, and Mary, Joan, many others for speaking out. Yeah. One of my favorite songs. Great meaning. I love when they go, we can kill now, and it gets louder and louder. It gives me goosebumps. Yes. Yes. That was terrifying and very powerful. That's the insanity of it, you know? Damn. So the, it's from, so the first verse is from the perspective of the father. I told him that he'd better shut his mouth and do his job like a man. So there's a lot of... Um, uh, interesting things at play right right off the bat 
Um, but then as it continues, he's answered, listen, father, I will never kill another. He thinks he's better than his brother that died. So that means that probably an older brother did go to war and died fighting for his country. What the hell does he think he's doing to his father who brought him upright? And the father's, once again, very convicted, you know, in his, very convicted? No, very firm in his convictions. That's what I mean. Take your place on the great Mandala, Mandela. Let me, let me look up. What is, what is this? mean the circle geometric designer pattern that represents the cosmos in various heavenly worlds hinduism buddhism interesting the cycle as it moves through your brief moment in time yeah it, the the music even felt like this slowly spinning cosmic wheel um which is what i was talking about with the um I lost my train of thought, which is what I was talking about with the cycle and the, that, that it, yeah. All right. That, exactly what I said a little bit earlier. Uh, win or lose now, you must choose now. And if you lose, you're only losing your life. You must choose now. If you lose, and only is such a interesting choice of words there. It's very, it's very present. It's very now, and it seems incredibly important win or lose you must choose and you don't even know what the right thing to do is because when the whole world's telling you to go one way and you feel like you need to go in a different direction then that that's yeah that's crazy sometimes when that happens tell the jailer not to bother with his meal of bread and water today he's fasting till the killing's over He's a martyr, he thinks he's a prophet, but he's a coward, he's just playing a game. He can't do it, he can't change it, it's been going on for 10,000 years. And there's another problem with certain mindsets, is that things can never change because they've always been a specific way. Um, I personally would rather believe that things could change, even if, even if like in a cynical sense they really probably won't, and even if they did, it would be a temporary change. The idea that things can is, is better. Plus, it seems like things do. Maybe not always for the better, but things certainly change. You know, things evolve and progress, but then things do regress or, or change back or the, the cycle as we were, as we are discussing. Um, actually, let me know your thoughts on the song down below in the comments if you want, because uh, I feel like this is one that could spark a lot of discussion. Um, so the second verse, I don't think we're with the father and the son anymore. We've moved to a different, uh, a different section of the world showing another perspective during the struggle. And this is again from the perspective of someone who is for the war, right? Um, or at the very least is for serving your country and, you know, um, the, the duty that you might have as an American to go and fight for the freedoms that we enjoy, you know, in, in this country. Um, so he tells, so someone's in jail and they're fasting until the war stops. And it's interesting that he says he, he thinks he's a prophet, but he's a coward. He's just playing a game and he can't do it because... Um, there have been people who have changed things through like fasting or through setting themselves on fire or through some some crazy antics have actually been enough of a protest to either cause change or cause uh, trouble for the people who won't. So it is it is interesting. Um, then a repeat of the chorus. And then finally we have this. What's the rumbling in the courtyard? 7,000 faces are turned to the gate. What's that they're saying? Kill the traitor, kill the traitor, kill the traitor. Tell the people they are safe now. Hunger stopped him. He lies still in his cell. Death has gagged his accusations. We are free now. We can kill now. We can hate now. Now we can end the world. We're not guilty. He was crazy. And it's been going on for 10,000 years. Such a powerful song. I'm going to listen to it again after finishing this. So... Um, yeah, so here we come to this scene, which feels more surreal 
rumbling in the courtyard, 7,000 faces turned to the gate. Almost makes me think of the gates of heaven or the gates of hell. And they're saying, kill the traitor. That person who's, who's like saying that the killing must stop, the killing is wrong, the, the war is senseless, whatever he's saying is, is wrong, is evil, must be put to death. The people have spoken, you know. Um, then a repeat of the chorus, win or lose now, you must choose now, and if you lose, you're only losing your life. And then hunger kills him. He, he achieves his goal, or they, they achieve their goal, and tell the people they are safe now. He lies dead in his cell. Oh, yeah, he, he lies dead in his cell. Death has gagged his accusations. And then it's interesting that they think they're free after killing the opposition. Or they didn't kill the opposition. After the opposition killed themselves, they now think that um, that uh, that person pointing the finger was the only thing making them feel guilty in the first place, which is interesting, at least from this song's perspective. Now we can end the world is an interesting sentiment as well because of how advanced um, uh, our weapons of mass destruction are now and how yeah it's scary man especially when some of some, certain some some of these world leaders seem uh, I don't know like maybe they shouldn't have access to weapons of mass destruction so all right uh, that's Peter, Paul, and Mary, the great Man Man Mandela. Um, very, very powerful song. Thank you so much once again for requesting this, and thank you for joining me. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, I released an album of original music, uh, and it's fully out on YouTube now. There's a playlist for it. It has 14 total tracks. is a little over an hour long. Um, some songs are folky. Um, I'm not going to say like this one, because this one has like a more surreal, folky sound to it. Um, but yeah, some tracks on my album are folky. Some are more like experimental rock-driven or indie rock-driven. A few of them are just experimental and weird. Um, I'm really proud of it, uh, and I hope that one day I can perform like live for people or that I can form a band, you know, so I'm... I'm working on it, and if you want to support that, or if you just want to check out my original music, there's uh, a link in the description to a, a link tree page, which should have all of the the links to the playlist. And if you want to support the album, you can buy it off of Bandcamp if you want, but you can listen to it for free on YouTube. All right, thank you very much for joining me. Stay tuned for more videos. I will see you soon. Deathstroke 9, 